Once upon a time there was a place named Srinathapuram. In that place there was a man named Madhavan who was very wealthy. His mother-in-law was also rich. He never did anything in the house. He lived very very happily there. After seeing that his wife Lakshmi looked at him and said this, "Why are you sitting idly in the house every single day? If you are idle even a mountain will fall." is what the elders used to say. Try to do some business related activities. Try to make use of your time. After listening to what his wife said, Madhavan thinks to himself for a while. He then say everything openly to his wife. Listen to me Lakshmi. What you don't understand is, I have already been thinking about what are you saying. But I am not sitting ideally for no reason. I have interest in finding gold and you know how interested I am in that. Yes, but there is no advantages for us. It is not going to provide food for us. Don't talk useless. No, Lakshmi. I am on the verge of finding a scientific method to find gold. All I need is a few plants and leaves in order to achieve my final goal. If I am able to find that specific plant and herb that I am looking for, I would be able to do it. Please give me some time. We will earn lot of money at that time. Are you crazy? How can you find gold without not knowing how to find it? This will never happen to us. You are only wasting your time. I think you have gone absolutely crazy. Think something usefully. Don't waste your time by thinking like this. After listening to what Lakshmi said, but having total confidence on his research, he re-evaluates his answer and says this. No, Lakshmi. I am on the verge of finding a scientific method to find gold. All I need is a few plants and leaves in order to achieve my final goal. If I am able to find that specific plant and herb that I am looking for, I would be able to do it. Until then, please give me some time. Since you are asking me so kindly, I am giving you some time for you to find what you want. But if this still doesn't happen, you must leave this and find something else to do. Fine. I shall do exactly as you say. Madhavan keeps trying to find multiple methods in order to figure out a way to get the gold. But all his experiments start to fail. He was successful at some things but he was not able to find out gold. His wife is quite disappointed and she looks at him and says this. What is happening? Because of your enthusiasm, we had spent all the money that we have for your experiment to find gold. Now we are penniless. You should have just done nothing. In that way, at least we would have had the money that we had saved. Now we are financially at burden. Lakshmi feels like this. Madhavan becomes really sad to hear what his wife said and he says to her, Lakshmi, please give me some more time. I will be able to find everything that you are asking for. I shall get all the gold. No, I shall never give you any more time. This is done. Today onwards, I shall leave my house and go to my parents' house. I cannot stay with you here anymore. Goodbye. I am done with you. Then wife immediately goes to her parents' house and visits her father Ramaya. Ramaya quite shocked to see his daughter. He looks at Lakshmi and he says this to her. What is this my child? Why have you come here alone by yourself? Where is my son-in-law? His daughter proceeds to tell everything that has occurred to her after listening to the entire story which her daughter said. Ramaya looks at her and he says this. I shall talk to your husband one more time and I will change them into the man once he was. You be brave and courageous. I will help you with this. Ramaya immediately calls his servant to call on his son-in-law. As soon as, as Madhavan learns that his father-in-law wants to see him, he shows up immediately. Ramaya goes towards his son-in-law and says this. Tell me, my son-in-law, is all your experiments going on a good way? Madhavan proceeds to explain everything and every experiment that is trying for his goal-finding plan. After listening to what Madhavan said, Ramaya says this to him. So, this is what you have been doing all these years. If you would have told this to me before, I would have helped you. Why did you have to waste your time so much? Madhavan slowly realizes that his father-in-law also has some inputs and ideas about the experiments that he is doing. So you know exactly what I am talking about. Are you also aware of this experiment? All these years I have been trying to find the herb that would solve the riddle of this experiment. If you know where to find that herb, please tell me. I shall tell you exactly how to do this. But I am not guaranteeing you that you would be able to succeed in this immediately. 
it is a very difficult task which requires your determination and persistence what is unfortunate is that i am very old therefore i won't be able to achieve this dream by myself but i can give you the knowledge and wisdom that is required for you to achieve this experiment do as i say and all your dreams will come true after listening to what his father in law said madhavan was very glad madhavan immediately said this uncle please tell me exactly how i should achieve this goal and i will do everything in my power to get this done i shall obey each and every one of your words and your commandments i have pretty much all the ingredients for you to experiment and find gold by yourself but in order for us to find that herb it will take us a while we have to be determined and focused in order to get it done but it is not an impossible task it can be done we just need some patience after listening to what his father in law said madhavan is highly motivated and he wants to achieve the dream then he said this i will achieve everything that you ask me to please tell me exactly where to find that herb i'll go there immediately listen to me my son in law it is not that far away all you need to do is take a tiny grass root from a banana tree and use that root in order for you to create another banana tree which will provide you with the herbs that you are looking for this is a very secret method there is also a few magic spells that would unlock its potential but this should be only done by you and not by anyone else this is a secret that my grandfather told me if you do not achieve the spell properly you won't be able to get it madhavan is very excited because he feels like he is at the last step of finding the way to get gold he enthusiastically looks at father in law and said this so in order for us to achieve this we would have to build an entire form of banana trees is that right of course there is no doubt about that we definitely have to build a lot of banana trees or else we would never be able to get the correct plant to find the gold Don't worry about it. I shall get it done as soon as possible. Where is the place that we can put so many banana trees into it? Do we have such a big place? You need not worry about anything. The money that is required to buy a land to create banana trees will be sponsored by me. You just figure out a way to get those threads from the banana trees. Madhavan immediately starts doing whatever his father-in-law said. He hires a few workers to go and dig a lot of holes in order to plant banana trees. Madhavan tells the exact magic spell that he learned from his father-in-law. Looking at the way how Madhavan is acting and how active he is in a day-to-day -day life, his wife becomes very happy. Today I am very happy. The seed that you planted in the land has grown into huge tree. I am so fulfilled with happiness. What are you going to do now? No, Lakshmi. Just like your father said, I need a tiny thread from the banana leaf. As long as it can be, would be better. Fine. You used to find the thread that you are looking for. Where else I can use it to sell bananas and make a profit of it? Is it all right with you? It is your choice, but please do not hurt the banana leaves because if you hurt the banana leaves, it would not be able to conduct my experiment. His wife is still surprised that he is conducting his experiments even after all these days. Madhavan starts cultivating the leaves of the banana plants and he starts taking out all the banana leaves and he starts splitting it into the threads. At that moment he realized that his father-in-law was right about everything. He then thinks about his father-in-law and says this. It seems like my dreams are going to come true, but I should be patient for now. If I get too excited, I will become lazy. Let me keep focusing on what I want to do. I have to keep working hard. Madhavan kept working hard as he always does, but he never bothered about his wife selling bananas on daily basis. One fine day, her father calls his daughter Lakshmi and he says this to her. How are you, my daughter? Is everything all right? Has my son-in-law changed? Father, I don't know what you told him, but since you spoke to him, he has been working hard every single day. He doesn't even take a break. What you asked for, you have got it now. Your husband is a hard-working individual. Are you happy now? But father, all he ever does is keep searching for those banana leaves in order to find the herb that can get him gold. He doesn't even think about anything else nowadays. He is just focused on finding the gold that he wants. He doesn't even care about the banana business that I'm doing on the side. I am the one that's saving money for him. Listen to me. Do not worry my daughter. 
Everything will happen at the right time. Just be a little patient. All right, father. I shall leave now. Goodbye. As days kept going, Madhavan could still not find what he was looking for. He was not able to crack the experiment of getting gold, whereas his banana business was blooming because of the talent of his wife. After the development of the business, his wife looked at the situation and said this to herself. I don't know on what day did my father tell him whatever he said. I am making so much money on a daily basis for our family. No just in our village, but in this entire town there is no competition to our bananas. But my husband is still finding a way to get gold even though it is impractical and almost impossible. I don't know how am I supposed to change him. Now this is a totally different problem. I really don't know when he is going to stop searching for the thread. I'm waiting for that day. Two more years passes by and Madhavan keeps finding several banana leaves and he takes out the roots from the leaves. After 2 years of saving several banana leaf roots, he takes it and puts it in one bag and brings it to his father-in-law. Here it is, uncle. I have saved up all the banana leaves that you asked me. There is all the roots and the threads that is required. Now please take it and tell me what to do with this. After listening to what Madhavan said, Ramaya laughs for a while and he said this to Madhavan like this. Congratulations son. You have achieved amazing wealth with your banana business. You have worked very hard and I appreciate your diligence and persistence. After listening to what Ramaya said, Madhavan was very confused. He looks at Ramaya and says this. What are you trying to tell me uncle? You told me that bringing all these banana leaf threads will be able to get us gold. Is that right or not? Now what am I supposed to do with all this? Your obsession with gold has made you work hard and found you. Well, that could buy you gold anyway. I don't think I can hold the truth any more longer. I have to tell you. After hearing what Ramaya said, Madhavan was very confused and Ramaya looks towards his daughter and he says this. Daughter Tell me how much money you have earned with the banana business that your husband started. May I know exactly how much? Lakshmi immediately leaves and brings a big pile of money. Lakshmi then looks at Madhavan and says this. You have to believe me when I tell you we have so much money that we don't even want to do with. But wait a minute for a while. How did my wife earn this much money? From what I did, all I did was save banana leaves and find the threads for the banana leaves. How did she earn so much money? Ramaya takes all the money and he puts it on the ground. He then looks at Madhavan and he says this to him. You have to understand one thing. I wanted you to work hard and I made you work hard by telling you a lie that you will find gold if you plant banana trees. But this proved that you are a hard working individual because if you put your mind to it, you will be able to achieve what you want. Ramaya said like this. Madhavan was quite shocked to see so much money on the ground. See how intelligent I am. My idea really helped you. Now you can take this money and buy how much of a gold you need. As you can say that my experiment was much more successful and intelligent than your experiment because now you have become a truly rich man. After listening to what Ramaya said, Madhavan looks at him with the realization on his face and said this. Uncle, all these days I was looking for a shortcut to achieve a lot of money. But you showed me the way that doing hard work is much more important than any tricky experiments. You are right. Your experiment is much more better than mine. Finally, your experiment has won. Thank you so much for this lesson. After that, he thanked his father-in-law and he went on with his wife and he lived a great life of banana business and farming from that day onwards. If you like this story, do like it, share it. For more news stories, please subscribe our News Stories Book English YouTube channel.